Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Mike Puccinelli. The heat is on and it's not going to ease up for days. Lauren Victory has that story. Hi there, Mike. It's just a few minutes after five o'clock. The sun's not even up yet. We have seen runners out here already, and we know that beach officials are getting prepared for athletes. You can't see the tractor right now, but he is smoothing over the sand for anybody wanting to play volleyball this weekend. It is already 74 degrees, and we are going to keep on climbing. Beaches will be bustling in this heat, especially because of the holiday weekend. Emergency management officials remind anyone planning on some fun in the sun to stay hydrated. They also encourage elderly folks to stay indoors if possible. It is expected to soar into the 90s with feels like temperatures in the 100s today and tomorrow. Can't emphasize enough how important it is for everybody to look out for each other, especially a vulnerable population. Um, talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to people you care about. Officials say call 911 if there is an emergency. Otherwise, 311 can help you request a well being check and locate a cooling center. I called 311 for you. In the meantime, they told me you're allowed to get some heat relief in police stations, hospitals, and 10 South Kedzie, which is a cooling shelter as of right now. Additional locations could be opened. We hope to learn more about that at a news conference being called by emergency officials later on this morning. And Megan Glaros has your forecast. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. You need to find a pool, a beach, a sprinkler, even just a hose, or just get inside the AC. It is so hot outside today and again tomorrow that it's almost dangerous in terms of heat. We've got an excessive heat warning up for all of Chicagoland from 11 a.m. today until 7 p.m. on Saturday. 95 degrees the high temperature today, 97 the high temperature on Saturday. We're going to be at about 92 on Sunday, and temperatures will remain in the upper 80s, low 90s going into next week, including the 4th of July. It does look like it's going to basically be dry over the course of the next week. We do have a chance of showers and storms Sunday evening, uh, maybe as early as Sunday late afternoon. But temperature-wise, we're going to maintain the heat. Maybe not quite as hot as today and tomorrow. Those are going to be the two hottest days with Saturday, the big winter, looking for a high of 97 plus humidity. That makes it feel like it's anywhere from 110 to 120. Be careful, guys. And again, like I said, find some way to stay cool.